almost 800 kilometres, 24 clubs, 24 grounds, 22 commuter trains, 20 metros, 3 car trips, 2 light rail journeys and 1 bus. The 3rd Division, Group 7, completed it mate. Today I have come to Alcalá de Henares for the last stop on the Tercera Division Group 7 Tour. Now I feel as if this is a very fitting place to round things off. Uh, for me this is one of the standout cities in the Madrid community. I'm going to give you a tour just in a second. And I've heard a lot of good things and I've seen a lot of good things about visits to the Estadio Municipal del Val. So I've got real high hopes that we're going to finish things in style. So Alcalá's full name is Alcalá de Henares. The Henares being a river which runs nearby and actually within about a goal kick of the football stadium. Now the Henares part of the name differentiates this place from a number of other smaller places around Spain that are called Alcalá. Now Alcalá is the Arabic word for citadel and this refers back to the 8th century when the Moors controlled large parts of Spain and they built a castle to the east of where the current town lies. Now the tower of the castle still exists and it remains on a hill which is actually also very close to the stadium. Are we going to see it from there? I've actually got no idea, so you'll find out when I do. Alcalá is one of the most important cities in Spain in terms of education, in terms of language, in terms of literature. The university is the city's main landmark which means that there's a pretty lively atmosphere in the city's old quarters during term time. Now there have technically been two different universities housed in the same university buildings, the first of which was founded all the way back in 1293, which makes it one of the oldest universities in the world. Uh, although it didn't actually officially become a university until a couple of centuries later. Now the university became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988, and its architecture has actually been copied all around the world. Uh, the design of the San Diego University in the United States uh, is based on this one. And just to tie this story up in a nice little bow, one of the main university buildings here is in the Plata San Diego. Alcalá is also famous for being the birthplace of Miguel de Cervantes, who is one of the most famous Spanish writers of all time and who pretty unbelievably died on exactly the same day in exactly the same year as Shakespeare. So his most famous piece of work, the novel Don Quixote, is the most translated book in history after the Bible. Uh, so as you can imagine, there are loads and loads of references to Cervantes all around the city and especially the old quarters. So you've got the sculpture of Cervantes in the Plata de Cervantes, so the square that's named after him. There's a Cervantes House Museum which has been restored to the way it was when he lived there back in the 16th century. There are life-size statues of two of the main characters from the book from Don Quixote. You can take a Cervantes tour and even before you take the tour you can come to Alcalá on the Cervantes train in which actors perform parts of his work on the train. Now this train leaves a torture train station in the main train station in Madrid at 10 o'clock on Saturday mornings between April and July and between September and December. Now I imagined that this was going to be on a vintage style train from back in the day but no it's just on a normal commuter train which is kind of weird. Some floodlights up ahead means we're close. I've seen literally every form of sport on the way here. Tennis courts, swimming pools, here's track and field. Saving the best for last. We're off to a strong start. Not only have the club let me in, even though they have just discovered my intentions because they didn't reply to my email, but look at this place. We've had Eye of the Tiger on already, and we've also got club customised nets. What a start. Listen to this, we've got Eye of the Tiger on again. Now, Alcalá were founded in 1929, and they've spent more seasons in the Tercera Division 30 than they have at any other level. They have had various spells where they were regular Segunda B teams, uh, most of the 1980s, and most recently between 2009 and 2013. It was in 2005, though, that they came closest to making history and making it up to the Segunda for the first time ever, but they lost in the promotion playoff final to Hercules. Now, they've been a top 10 team in the Tercera in the last few seasons. Uh, they made the playoffs last year, uh, but this campaign's been a bit of a struggle. Uh, they have won three of their last four matches to take them up to 11th, but they could still be in relegation trouble. Now, in true Spanish football organisational fashion, we still don't know, a month before the season ends, how many teams are going to be relegated from this division. Uh, it basically depends on how many teams come down from the division above. So they could probably do with a win just to give themselves a little cushion. Today Alcalá are taking on Rayo Vallecano B and you might remember that I was there not very long ago when I did that kind of weird photo based video. Now that game was actually a huge turning point as that was their first match in a 10 game unbeaten run. Now they won 8 of those and they've kept 6 clean sheets in a row which has taken them up to 5th place in the table. They're 6 points 
points off the promotion playoffs, so it's probably left him with a little bit too much to do. But you just never know, especially if they can win today. Everything's just falling into place today. We've got a rowdy bunch of fans over there. We've got a grass pitch. And most importantly, we've got shade on both sides of the stadium. Could we be in for a goal fest? The first goal Rayo have conceded. What did I say it was? Seven games. Six games. Seven games. Well, it's been lively on the field and it's definitely been lively off it as well. Now one thing that I think is important to mention in relation to the fans, and I've seen them, this is, I think is the fourth or fifth time I've seen them, and they've been brilliant every time, they made loads and loads of noise. As I said earlier, I think this is the noisiest Terra supporter we might have seen. Offside. Um, but I have read that there is a definite right wing element uh, of this fan base, and Rio are famously, or Rio's fans I should say, are famously left wing. So there's been quite a few insulting chants uh, aimed at the Rio fans. I don't know if there's even any Rio fans here, but a few insulting chants aimed by the group at the far end there, uh, slagging off Rio. So a little bit of beef between the teams. That started well, but to be fair, it's fizzled out pretty quickly. Um, and there's really not been too much in the way of goal mouth action since the goal. I think Rayo had an effort from distance uh, that was kind of spilled by the goalkeeper. Nobody was following up. Had a load of corners apart from that and crossed into the box. Uh, Alcala pretty much the same. So very even at the moment. Uh, but you know, not going to complain. It's a beautiful day, lovely stadium, grass pitch. What more do you want? Just look at the depth of these goal nets. This is proper goal net porn. And if that's not a thing, then it should be. Right, this has to be the earliest I've seen a second half kick off. We kicked off at four o'clock, and it's 4.57, and the second half's getting underway. Is there a big game on tonight or something that I can't think of? Do they want to get home and watch, or what's going on? Look, most of the alters from behind the goal haven't even had time to get their three or four half-time beers in. I'm telling you, the Backstreet Boys would be proud of this choreography. Not sure if I got all of that, but it was a cleverly worked corner to the edge of the box. The volley came in, kind of scuffed it, uh, but it dropped in the box to one of the Rio players. And uh, what was the rebound? It was tucked away. So, yeah, three efforts and goal in the space of two seconds for Rio there. Was, uh, kept quiet, Nikola Kalinic signing for uh, Alcala. Big unit, this lad. Oh, what a big chance that was. Is that? Oh! Oh, again. oh my god. It's just not going in, is it? Right, we've got the worst view in the ground from the main stand, which is definitely not unique in this league. Oh my god, I thought that was in. Well, there we go, 
1-1 second half of missed opportunities for both sides there's a very tense ending uh, you can sense that neither team really wanted to lose that game although they both got a little bit to do uh, as they look to achieve their objectives for the season I think it's going to be really hard for Rio to get into the top four I mentioned that earlier on um, so they're dependent on other teams slipping up uh, as for Alcala uh, they're probably going to be safe but you just never know what can happen until you've got enough points on the board anyway I feel this is a little bit of an end of an era uh, Terfera Group 7 is done and dusted if you told me 18 months ago that I would have been around uh, all of these stadiums and seen all of these clubs uh, I would have thought you were absolutely mental and it's quite crazy for me to think that 18 months ago uh, I'd hardly heard of any of them and I certainly hadn't you know I certainly didn't know what grounds they played at or even uh, which towns some of them even played in um, so yeah uh, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, to get to know all of these clubs all of these stories uh, and all of these different stadiums uh, some have been more enjoyable than others uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the journey thank you so much to everybody uh, who's watched who's commented who's liked who's shared uh, it wouldn't have been the same and there would have been no point in me doing it um, if it wasn't for that um, so yeah again thank you so so much I really don't know what I'm going to do with Terfera next season um, I'm not even too sure what I'm going to do with the vlog next season either so there'll be more news on that going forward for now there's still a couple of grounds and a couple of teams that I would like to go and see in the higher leagues uh, before the end of the season so that'll be my objective uh, for the next few weeks anyway thank you so much for watching please subscribe please like please follow all the usual stuff and I'll see you guys next time